Welcome, welcome everybody. What's up, Afro Joe here telling like a TI is like always. And you probably sitting up here seeing two sets of pictures where on one side it has a set of black men dressed dressed well from back in the day and black people today and the reason why what it is is like the first one it says the difference black men niggers any questions the reason why I picked that one is because on the left it says black men you see two black men that are pilots back in the day and then you look at black folks today they're niggers they're sagging gangster looking and all this and that and then I show another picture you see two black men on the left in the 1950s that are dressed well looks like they're well educated and they have something you look at black folks today do like niggers and you probably seen them saying well Afro Joe you're a black person yourself and and I am and it, and the problem is this the problem is this with me the problem is this with me is like this I grew up knowing I was black I love black history month this is why I'm doing this video black history month and I sit up here and I do, do these videos and I love black history month I love my culture but it comes down to it where I sit up here and I I sit up here and I get pissed off of what I see today of what I see today because when you look at today you see a nigga we are niggas this is Chris Brown and that's a nigga that's a nigger not a nigga a nigger and I and that's like say it's very sad to see black folks are looked at as niggers and if you look back in a day you see Martin Luther King you see a black man how come back in those days we got looked at as black men we got count niggers but we was looked at as black men even though we was doing them the black folks was doing a march for equal rights as a white person you look today we got equal rights and we and we always gonna be looked at as nigger because how we portrayed ourselves we're so stereotyped today because how we hold ourselves up in today's society. That's a nigger. Chris Brown's a nigger. He's not a nigger. He's a nigger. Same with Little Wayne. He's a nigger. He's a nigger. Not a nigger, but a nigger. E-R, motherfuckers. E-R. He got. He is a nigger, not a nigger. He's a nigger. And you look at Michael Max. He's a black man. How come when you see people like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, you see black people? When you when you look at Chris Brown and Lil Wayne, we're niggers. We still get stereotyped more than ever because how we hold ourselves up today with the this and tattoos and all I can see how do we go from being black flo black people to niggers I don't understand that's one thing that puzzled me it's like being a young black man myself and we being looked at some niggers they just came out with a movie called Selma and it was all about Martin Luther King and the march. Why would I said to me, I'm glad they made this movie. But still, we always going to be looked as a nigger. Because you know why? As long as we portray ourselves as a nigger, we're always going to be niggers to everybody. And it's gotten so bad that we stereotype ourselves Today's today society that even white folks call themselves niggers, and it's bad to see that you see white folks. I'm a nigger. I'm a nigger. I'm a nigger. Are you a nigger? I, I thought you was white. To me, it, it makes no. It, it confuses me. It confuses me when you look at today's society. I've seen white folks. 
they and then I try not to see people as different as anybody else because hey man you gotta look at everybody as equal we all have gone through something in life itself we have It, and it has. And it's and it's 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 something else how today's society we it is it's funny how today's society we go from being like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X to be nothing but niggers and coons and a white man's slave. That's a wigger. Justin Bieber's a wigger. And I, and like I said, I don't get it. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. How do we go from being black folks to be, how do we go from being black folks from back in the day to being niggers of today? That's one thing I can never, never get an answer to. I don't know. I'm gonna get a lot of people sitting up there saying y'all still niggers. Y'all always gonna be niggers. Y'all niggers, 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 niggers. Uh, but you got a black man that's sitting up there talking about this. You got a white. I'm sitting up here showing Justin Bieber, a white boy that wants to be a nigger. And now tell me something I'm missing now. When you lay down with shit, you come up smelling like shit. That's what Dick Gregory said. When you lay down with shit, you smell like shit. And it's like this. How do we go from looking like this, but then, but to something like this, letting a white boy trying to be like a. I'm not trying to say it's a bad thing that people want to adapt to our culture, nothing like that. It's just how do we jump from being something to being nothing. We sat there, we bitched about, oh, I'm tired of being called nigga. I'm tired of getting called this. I'm tired of getting called that. Black folks don't get nothing. Da 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 so stereotype in this country that uh, we bitch about it we bitch about being called a nigger we, we bitch about we bitch about being called a nigger but we want to be called black folks. How do you want to be called in like I, I that's something I don't understand. Now here's a good picture to show y'all. You see the guy on the left, that's a nigger. You see the the guy on the right, that's a black man. You see what I'm saying? We get stereotyped so much when people see us, when people see black folks, they see the guy on the left, they see a nigger. They don't want to see the guy on the right. They don't want to see that. You know the reason why? Because we portray, we give in to stereotype. We give in to the BS of society. But we bitch about being called a nigger, a coon, a a jungle bunny, a tar baby. We bitch about that so fucking much in today's society. But you sit up here calling yourself a nigga, which nigga means ignorant person. Doesn't matter if you change the A, change the ER to an A. You still calling yourself a ignorant person. And I'm sick and tired of walking today, walking around the world getting called a nigga because we get ignorant people portraying, not, not portraying, but stereotyping, our, stereotyping themselves 
it's not just black folks white folks do it too white folks do it too y'all do it too now we now we don't do that bullshit honey boo boo child come on come on I'm telling you, we get stereotyped so much. I'm telling you, this it's not right. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Today's society, black folks stereotype themselves. They stereotype them, themselves, and it gets on my nerves every day. It, it, it's just something else. Like I said, man. Like I said, every every minority does that to themselves. Doesn't to themselves. Like I said, like white folks, honey boo boo child, honey boo boo child. Black folks, Little Wayne and Chris Brown. Little Wayne and Chris Brown. How do we get stuck with shit like that? You can sit there. Why don't you just change? We can try to change, but we can. Black folks can try to change the outer look. Can not outer look. Can change the stereotype. Try to change it, but we can't. You know why? Well, we can, but we can't. I can't. I don't. I don't want to use can. We can, but this is why we can't. This is what's stopping us. It's people like Chris Brown. Chris Brown and Lil Wayne. They stand in our way with the tattoos, sagging of the pants. Y'all need to stop doing that shit too, man. Because sagging came from prison, man. Y'all telling me y'all like taking in the booty hole. That's what I mean. Y'all need to quit doing that shit. I don't even look up the definition what the what sagging meant. Back in the day, sagging meant. Back in the day, it was what sagging came from prisons. I don't know where in the hell say uh, people want to adapt sagging. That's all it is. Sagging came from prison. It didn't come from just off the street. came from prison. But like I said today, I don't get why in today's society that we go from being like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King to be nothing but niggers and uh, jungle bunnies and tom babies and all that here because based on what we hear on the radio, see on TV, in movies and all that shit because we portraying what they put out same with every minority I'm tired of being called a nigger when I'm a black person I'm black not a nigger that's a difference see that's that's why I put this picture the difference black men niggers see the difference black men want to do something with themselves niggers want to sag their pants and say they like to get fucked in the ass and it rubs off on other minorities saying it's a cool thing to be a nigger. That's why we got wiggers because y'all think it's cool to be a nigger. And this is, I'm just telling like it is. And this has been, I, I'm, I'm telling like it is because I, I ain't gonna lie about that. I ain't gonna lie about that. That's all it is. I said, man, that's how we get portrayed in today's society. It's being called a nigga, being called a coon, a tar baby, or a jungle bunny, and all these racist words. But because of what, how we portrayed ourselves on in the entertainment industries and in real life. I'm not going to walk around sagging my motherfucking pants to show and tell the world because one thing is I don't like getting fucked in the ass I don't want to be fucked in the ass I'm not going to sag my pants and tell the world I like being fucked in my ass I'm not going to do that I'm not going to tell the world I want to be fucked in my booty hole because I ain't going to sag my motherfucking pants 
and that's how it is and that's how it is I ain't no boo boo the fool my mama didn't raise no fool I'm just telling like a T.I. is how do we go on from being blank folks to niggers so quickly in, in, in these years these decades these time periods I'm not a nigger I'm a person I'm a black man I'm a human being I'm somebody I'm not a nigger that's a nigger that's a nigger that's a nigger they're ignorant people and y'all sit up and y'all portray these people because you like what they put in front of you you want to be called a black person so badly but you want to but you call yourself a nigger because of what you see on TV and here on the radio okay this is Afro Joe telling like a T.A. tell me what you think in the comment section uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Tumblr, subscribe to my channel, all that will be in the description box below. Tell me what you think, peace, love, and Afro-Greece, man. I'm not a nigger, I'm a black man.